Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this! Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I just forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! What is happening third grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. This is video number 17. All right, I know that you guys all have your worksheet. You're ready to go and throw down your bed. Oh, some of you don't have the worksheet. That's totally cool. Go ahead and just check out the link below or somewhere around this video. You'll see a link that will take you to my website where you can download the worksheets that you need for this series along with the other episodes in this third grade Math FSA Bootcamp series. I know that you all are gonna throw down your best. You're gonna come back ready to learn and grow. All right, so go ahead and do that and then join me. I'll miss you. I'll see you in a second. Whoop! Welcome back third grade and quick shout out to Ms. Daughtry's class at Bay Point Elementary. I had so much fun singing the multiplication mashup with you all not so long ago. So oh, I hope one day we'll get to do that again. That would be pretty sweet, right? <laughs> all right, guys. So let's go ahead and identify the question type first. I see four answer choices. So what kind of question is this? It's a multiple choice question. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and read it. It says Miss Daughtry at Bay Point Elementary has eight kilograms of textbooks <laughs> because everybody walks around measuring how much their textbooks weigh in kilograms. Each textbook, so each one has a mass of two kilograms. So how many textbooks does Miss Daughtry have? Well, let's draw this out. It says that Miss that she has eight kilograms of textbooks and each one is two kilograms. So if this is a textbook and it weighs two kilograms, are we at eight yet? No, let's draw another one. So here's another textbook that weighs two kilograms or has a mass of two kilograms. Now are we at eight? No, we're at four. Let's keep going. If we add two more, how many kilograms do we have now? Six. So we need to go one more and that would get us to eight, two, four, six, eight. So how many textbooks does Ms. Daughtry have? Four. Love it. Let me make sure my bubble is nice and dark and bolded in. Not with a pen though. Make sure you do it with pencil. Number two pencil, in fact. Let's move on to number two. And before we begin number two, I'm seeing Isabel and Zoe in Miss Ring's class. I know that in Miss Ring's class, there are a set of twins named Isabel and Zoe. I hope that you all are watching this. Here's a quick shout out for you and all of your friends and your classmates. I hope that you guys are working super duper hard and you all are ready to throw down your best. All right, this one's for you. So we have a question type, I'm seeing a, B, A, B with like boxes and stuff. We gotta like read the statement and fill it in. So this is an editing task. 
This says, Isabel and Zoe in Mrs. Ring's class each filled up a container as shown below. So we've got Isabel's and Zoe's container. Complete the statement below to find the difference of the amount of liquid Zoe has compared to the amount of liquid that Isabel has. So when we're finding the difference, which operation are we doing? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Finding the difference means that we are subtracting. For each box, fill in the bubble before the choice that is correct. So let's read this. It says to find the difference, which means that we subtract in liquid volume, one must, or basically you must, subtract 19 from 22 or subtract 18 from 24. Well, we have to figure out how much there is up here. So let's see Isabel's. It's landing right here at this one. Okay. And I see 10 and I see 20 there. So let me count by ones and see if that's the scale. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20. It's not counting by ones. Let's try to count by twos. Ready? 10, 12, count with me, 14, 16, 18, 20. That makes sense. So this would be 12, 14, 16, and then we have 18. I know that's kind of hard to see just because of how I wrote it. 18. So Isabel has 18 liters. Let's figure out how much Zoe has. So Zoe also, I think we're counting by twos, but let's check. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20, two, 24. All right. So Zoe has 24 liters. So should we subtract 19 from 22 or subtract 18 from 24? Yeah, subtract 18 from 24. And that means that we're doing eight. Here's 24 and we're taking away 18 from it. The difference of liquid volume is, so when we subtract that, 24 minus 18, four minus eight is, oh, we need to regroup. Take one, that becomes a one. Give one, that becomes 14. So really there I mean take one 10, that becomes 110, give the 10, and now we're adding 10 plus four. 14 minus eight is six. One minus one is nothing. So six liters would be our answer. Okay. All right, third grade. So at this time, go ahead and press pause if you need to jot down any notes that you missed or if you need to make any corrections to your work. And third grade, if you know that you need some more help with problems kind of like this, I want you to check out two links. The first one is to McCarthy Math 155. It's in the link below or somewhere around this video. And you are gonna check out unit nine, unit nine. That's the measurement and data unit. There's a dog barking and I don't know if you're gonna pick that up, but sorry if you are. And no, it's not my dog. All right, so unit nine. Now this is free for seven days. So watch as many episodes as you can for seven days. And then teachers, it's actually very affordable after that. So if this is something that you wanna share with your students, I walk you through how to do that in the tutorials tab on my website. Check out video number five. The next link that I'd like to point you in the direction of is to the How to Pass the Math FSA series. You probably know, but just in case, I did create the series a few years ago back when the FSA was a computer-based test. Now it's a paper-based test, which is why I'm revamping the series with the Math FSA Bootcamp to reflect that paper-based test. Still, the How to Pass the Math FSA series provides great practice. It just looks a little bit different for questioning because it's not a computer test anymore, but you should still check it out. Great practice. I'd highly encourage you to check it out. I'd love for you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. That way you can stay in the know with everything I'm releasing. And also go ahead and subscribe on YouTube. That way you're the first to know when I drop a 
new video. In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, could you go ahead and smash that like button for this video? Not just for me or to make me feel good, but because the more that we like these videos, the more I can help other students. So when you do that, you are actually changing someone's life. And I really, really appreciate that because I'm on a mission to make math fun, to make it click and to make it stick for as many third, fourth and fifth graders as I possibly can. It breaks my heart when I see students who struggle with math and I want to make sure that they get the help that they deserve. So thank you for liking this video. And as always, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of students who are ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And I cannot wait to see you all on the next episode. Bye. What is this? Am I swimming in the air?